thank you all for allowing me the privilege of sharing this space with you, first and foremost. Um, I would like to start off by telling the part of my story that began my sophomore year in college um, when I was awakened from my sleep with excruciating pains in my abdomen. Um, after being rushed to the emergency room and referred to a doctor, um, I was informed that the pain in my abdomen was caused by a cyst on my ovary that had ruptured. And I was informed that along with that, I had abnormal cells in my cervix. And my doctor informed me that the best he could do for me was keep an eye on it. So I left the doctor's office with a certain sense of fear and uncertainty. But I decided that while my doctor was keeping an eye on it, I was going to ask questions and find solutions. Thank you. So I began to do different research and ask questions, and I learned that many of the women in my family and in my community struggled with health issues that were very similar to mine. And I also learned that many of the men in my community and in my family had health issues of their own. And eventually I realized the direct correlation between the foods that we ate in our Puerto Rican culture and the jobs that we worked in the factories in Detroit and the impacts that those had on our health. And it was these realizations that led me to create the Green is the New Black campaign, which is a campaign centered around educating on environmental justice, food justice, and spaces in the green economy, and really showing students that all of these things relate to each other. Thank you. Today, I feel extremely blessed to announce that I stand before you ailment free. And because of that, I would first and foremost like to thank my personal Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I would also like to acknowledge my biggest motivation, my family, my mother, who's in the audience, and my father. They really instilled in me the most important lesson that I think I've learned that as you sow, so shall you reap. I would also like to thank my Howard University family, the Office of Sustainability, as well as many of my mentors, like Dr. Mary McKenna, Lillian Molina, and Marquise, Marquise Bryant, as well as my fellow Greenfall ambassadors, Fallon Shackelford, L.A. Kenny, and Jordan Rivers. I would also like to thank the organization Green for All for all of their support and many friends, such as Alexandria Igwe, who you saw in the film, and many, many others that I don't have time to name for all of their support. And it is at this moment that I would like to, take, to thank the Earth Island Institute and Anisha Desai and Ruth G for just creating this platform and this safe space for us to do the work that we love to do. I would also like to congratulate my new brothers and my sister. Um, the other five winners, and thank you all for really inspiring me. When the Green is the New Black campaign first began, I really didn't have any idea about how far reaching the impacts would be. I set out to educate my Howard University community, but it went much deeper than that. And it was that experience that really helped me realize the power of belief. And my beliefs are really that strong that they can change my life and the lives of others. This lesson learned will help me in my future as a medical doctor who researches the impacts of environment on human health. And I want to encourage everybody in this audience to dream big and to use your imagination. I really can't believe that I'm standing here considered one of the top environmental youth activists um, because it was never really my intention to be recognized as one when I set out to do this work. But the power of belief and the power of following through with ideas said differently. And I have the belief that every person on this earth, regardless of race, regardless of how much money you make, that they have the right to live, work, eat, and play in an environment that sustains their life. Thank you. And so I would like you all to join me and combine our beliefs and really create and inspire change so we'll start off silently and we'll get progressively louder. And if you all could, could you know, repeat after me, is that okay with everybody here? Yeah. Okay, cool. It is our duty to fight. It is our duty to win. We must love each other and protect each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. It is our duty to fight. It is our duty to win. We must love each other and protect each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Thank you.
Thank you.